Uh, Stephen, let's talk about some of the firing and policing processes. Sure. Uh, the interesting thing about Pueblo pottery is it's been going on for over a thousand years continuously. It's been passed down from generation to generation and uh, along with that oftentimes when a grandmother sometimes a grandfather passes it down to their daughters or even their grandkids they'll often give them a special polishing stone that was found in a a riverbed or somewhere that they've used for years and they cherish those things they keep them in little pouches and uh, so so they get started there uh, the pueblos that are still outdoor firing it's it's a pretty exciting process you see the finished product and you think wow that pottery was just poured in a mold made but no it's it's a very extensive uh, process to go through first they have to find the clay they have to uh, bring it home, dry it out, pound it up, sift it, put it in uh, water, mix it up. They have to add temper, which is a finely ground uh, volcanic ash or something like that, to get the right consistency. Uh, they have to coil their pot. They have to sand it down. They have to scrape it. <laughs> and then they're just, after all that, they have to apply a slip after it's shaped, and then they're ready for firing. I mean, it's, it's a lot to get to that point. Do they find their clay on, on, on their Pueblos, or they go outside, is it commercial clay? or? No, mo mo most of the good artists still use clay that's normally found in the confines of their reservation, although some of them cross over into other reservations and pay for that privilege from the other Pueblo. Mm -hmm. And what is a slip that you mentioned? A slip is nothing more than clay suspended in water. Uh, which can be different colors and it's applied lightly on the surface. It kind of builds up the surface to get it smooth and, and ready to paint. And uh, sometimes they need to apply two and three uh, uh, slip, uh, slip coats because if they don't, it, it wouldn't be as smooth and as fine as it turns out to be. And they do all that before they fire it? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, what, how, and what is the process of firing? Well, for the ones that still outdoor fire, particularly Santa Clara, San Aldefonso, Santa Domingo, the ones that are outdoor firing, uh, they have to gather the type of wood they're going to use. Some of them use cottonwood, some of them use bark. Uh, they make their little grates uh, out, of, out of metal to keep uh, the pieces from getting uh, too close to the fire. And then they, they build up along these grates cottonwood or or bark or whatever and when they light it it gets very hot it sometimes gets up 12 to 2,000 degrees and then after they get these pots red hot they smother it with a finely ground either horse or cow manure which gives off this intense carbon smoke which adheres to the pot and uh, that's how you come out with black pottery but I mean you're, you're at the mercy of the elements if it's raining, you'll get spotting. If it's windy, you'll get it dark on one side and lighter on the other side. So things have to come out perfect. So there, there is really a process, and they do lose a percentage of the pottery before it's ever finished and have to redo the whole thing. And how, where does the red pottery come from? Now, red pottery is the slip that's put on. Uh, it is not fired outside. It's still, I mean, it's not... They don't use the process of the manure to get the black carbonization. So some of the potters do what's known as burnishing. It comes out black, but they want to see some of the red that would be underneath before it was fired with manure. And they'll take a little torch and go across the rim, and the red will peek back through. So red is just the absence of the uh, firing with manure. Very interesting. What about the paint that they use? Is that commercial paint, or is it what, something that they... It's a mixture. Most of them still use a lot of natural, natural paints. Uh, they'll take, for instance, wild spinach, and they'll steep it, and then they'll make a paint out of that. It, it, or a bees plant. It comes out kind of a gray to a black that you often see. The red is nothing more than a slip, and they use some minerals and pollens for some of the other colors. Um, so there's a lot of different colors they can come up with that are natural. But of course it's easier to go commercial nowadays, so some of them are starting to 
dab in that, but if you get someone still using the natural paints, you've got a good thing going on. Oh, <laughs>